Hello. I had the opportunity this month to be a guest on Absolute Love podcast, which is shared on our RG Adoption Consulting Facebook page, and, and I believe it's also been shared in, on Instagram. And every time I get in conversation and start talking about my story, it brings me back and, and I get the chills and I, you know, brings tears to my eyes and no matter how far into this I am and even that I do this professionally, I still get moved by feeling all those feelings again. And, and it wasn't too long ago and yet 10 years later, it feels long ago. Does that make sense? Time goes fast and it also seems like yesterday. So that was a really cool conversation. I, I encourage you to go listen to it. We talk about a ton of different little pieces of adoption throughout my story. How I felt when I started, what I knew, what I didn't know, how I shared with my family, being open, being scared, having all the myths in my head. All those things come up in this conversation with the Absolute Love podcast by Kathleen Russell. So go check that out. And then I had the opportunity, a friend of mine is a coach, a personal development coach. She runs a club called Cultivate Club. And I encourage you to check that out also. Every Friday they have free uh, Zoom gatherings and then they, they also meet on their own just for club members. And I got to speak not only about my adoption journey and what a consultant does and what the adoption world looks like now, but also about my story as an entrepreneur and how I got to do what I'm doing now and how I manifested the shit out of it (laughs) to get to where I am and to even start my company and what that journey looked like. So that was really cool also because I got to share both sides of my journey. So that was, I don't, I don't think you guys can listen to that one, but go check out Cultivate Club. I hear some noise in the background. My dog is pushing around a bone. I know at this point in my son's life, he's super proud of being adopted. It has a lot of meaning to him. He loves his connection with his birth family. It represents hard conversations and love and beauty and layers and he really looks forward to that smiley face on his hand every year and he loves sharing that with his classmates which i love i love that he's proud of it and and thus far in his life he, that's not something he's ever hid behind or thought of himself any different because in fact just the opposite he loves to share and celebrate his adoption and whatever that means to him right now and i'm sure that might feel more complicated to him as he gets older, but perhaps not. You know, everybody has their own individual story. You know, I never wanted to share my story until I felt like I had an ending to the story. Like when I started my own business or when I was venturing off on that path or when I was starting to adopt. And while you have an end to a piece, there's always a, an ongoing story. And I'm talking directly to my single hopeful mamas right now I'm really excited because we just had another single mom uh, match. And so we have four single moms matched right now. The most we've had all year, probably in total. I mean, not really. I'm exaggerating a little bit. But it's so nice to hear and to see that um, our single moms are being, I don't know if I want to say recognized again, but um, considered again and matching. So. For all you single women out there, there is hope. So there's that. And the other thing is just kind of a fun little tidbit is that we have had, well, our families have really, we don't do matching, but we've had 41 adoptions, I think, thus far this year. Now, last year, I think we had 54 altogether. It was a really great year in such a such a wonky wonky year i'm really proud of that number i mean certainly definitely something to be proud of so i'm excited about that and i know that we will have some more families being formed i was just listening to a story from an agency who reached out that's the other thing i wanted to celebrate we're starting to um, build some new partnerships and you know for as many families as we have 
we are only as good as both our families as well as the partnerships and the networking that we're, the network of agencies and attorneys and um, other consultants that we have out in the world of the adoption world. I Someone called me about, was talking through a possible situation with me and was explaining to me that she talked to an expectant mom who, who called her up and wanted to make an adoption plan. And she was going all over all of her, all of her options with her and encouraging her to take a month and you know make sure her family members knew that didn't know and really make sure that for her she was making the right choice and she came back after a month and she said you know what this is my decision to make and i am making this choice for me because it's the best thing for me and this baby and i want to move forward and i just i love hearing those words because that tells me you know it just i love being in conversation with agencies and matching entities who I feel are having the right conversations with these expectant mamas because they should be given time before they make a decision, especially if there is a lot of time before um, the adoption. I know they're anxious to get matched just as much as we are, and yet to just sit with that decision and really make sure that you're making the best decision for you and going through all of your options is obviously what we all want to see. All right, great chatting with you guys today. Thanks for tuning in. Love to you all wherever you are in your adoption journey.